Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Cynthia Vaza, and today I'm going to be doing your so uh, zodiac. I'm going to be doing your spirit guide messages, uh, Virgo. But I also do your weekly zodiac reading for your just general messages, as well as your universal reading between you and your person, Virgo. Which I'll leave a link to both of those over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Virgo, I promise you. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know how they reson resonate with you in the comments below, Virgo. Let me know which cards resonated and just overall how you enjoyed the reading, right? And if you do enjoy this reading, I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And I just always appreciate it when you guys take the extra time to do that for me. And then finally, Virgo, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, as you go throughout your days, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life. This reading here is just to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout it, right? So ultimately, it's your life to live, not mine. So with all that being said, let's start getting into this reading now for you, Virgo. Messages from your spirit guide. So I pulled three different cards for you two animal oracle cards as well as a tarot card and we'll get into the animal oracle cards first for you virgo um as i get comfortable we have the stag spirit coming out for you and the stag spirit came out to be is 58 so that would be 13 that would be four for numerology right i did the math right it would be five what is five plus eight that would be yeah it would be four <laughs> Don't mind me, Virgo. Um, the stag spirit, write that down for though for numerology still. It's still relevant, even if I can't do simple math. Um, stag spirit, take the lead. Taking charge with something, uh, Virgo. So this is definitely like a, maybe you've been waiting for I don't know. I'm hearing like you've been waiting for like something to happen, some type of action to happen. Um, I'm being shown like a ball dropping. So maybe you're waiting for the ball to drop on something before you take action. But when the stag spirit comes forward and asking you to take a lead, um, it's probably asking you to take matters into your own hands. It's this like spirit asking you being like, hey, like, you know, there's no reason to be waiting here. There's no reason to be a sitting duck in this situation because you can actively, um, take further part in this. You can add more stability to your situation. We have the zebra card coming in as well for you, which this card says, let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times, Virgo. So perhaps maybe that's what your hesitancy is when it comes to taking the lead on something. Maybe you don't want to be the one, Virgo, to um, set the tone with something. Maybe you don't want to be the one to start the momentum or be the one to just start it in general just be or the one to take responsibility for whatever your reasoning is but i do see it being extremely profitable for you to like take action for you to start taking action rather than waiting it out for like maybe you're just even simply waiting for more information before you make a decision um which normally isn't a bad thing but you know after a certain point um it does get to a point where it's just like okay you've done enough waiting you've done enough analyzing at what point are you actually going to commit to doing something virgo when are you actually going to take action into doing this i don't i really don't see anyone else or anything else happening um in your life anything being added into your situation for thing um for you to like help you make your decision right i feel like you could be stuck in this limbo forever um should you choose not to take action on this right you're always going to find a reason as to why to like wait it out right so just let go of your fear behind taking action and just take the lead because i feel like it's going to be extremely profitable for you because of this ten of discs here now the ten of discs is all about i mean it's the best card to have in terms of just stability right it's the card where it's just like everything's just stable everything it just is you know everything's good it's a beautiful financial card so for my tour uh, my tours for my virgos that are came 
into this reading and feel like this message is more so in reliant towards taking the lead in terms of like maybe a work project or maybe whatever like maybe you've been weighing out if you want to like put stocks into something right but don't ever just base your stock advice off of me honey a tarot reader i have i don't do stocks sadly but <laughs> yeah with this ten of discs it's just like it's all just wrapped around like you t by you taking action virgo you really bring a lot of this ten of disc energy into your life into the, your space right and that's probably what it is that you've been waiting for you've been waiting for a little bit more stability before you take action but it's just like if you just took the action honey like you would be creating that all on your own without any help whatsoever so how do we want to go through this virgo what cards do we want to start with next i kind of want to break this down a little bit more i'm going to be honest here so let's pull some more necronomicon cards and see what's up with this. So don't mind me if I get randomly awkwardly silent, uh, Virgo. <laughs> this is me trying to uh, make sure I hear everything. All right, back of the deck energy, Queen of Cups. We're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna put a pin on this though. I'll touch on this probably later in the reading, but we'll keep that Queen of Cups in mind. Um, so the cards that I've pulled out currently for you, Virgo, which were, how many cards is this? Five. And we pulled five cards for you. We pulled the Eight of Wands for you, Virgo. So this Eight of Wands is like that self-empowerment, right? It's you finding your power, I see this as. The Fool card is that risk-taking. Powerful card to have, by the way, when it's like taking the lead with something. I mean, granted, let's be honest here, Virgo. You're probably like hearing me say, it's like, oh, beautiful card to have. And you're just looking at the imagery of this. And you're like, honey, what is beautiful about Jabba the Hutt, right? Uh, <laughs> but the Fool energy is someone definitely not what this person is exuding but the full energy is someone that is trying to break free and honoring what it is what's going on inside of themselves and honoring their own feelings and passions towards something and kind of like not well i guess it is kind of like caution to the wind like whatever happens happens let the uh let the rocks fall where is what is that saying like let the pieces fall where they may sort of thing because you're busy stuck uh not stuck but you're busy honoring your own feelings honoring like what is going inside of here right behind all that fear right you know that's the thing i feel like this is like deep down whatever it is that you're wanting to take lead on towards that ten of pentacles uh virgo deep down this is this is like this is the vulnerability right this is what is actually trying that is that's driving you right but this ends up being clouded by the fears that the zebra card was talking about virgo and asking you to let go of those fears right this queen of cups is someone that really wants to um you know she, like with the, in this imagery this person is just baking right so let's just say for example you always wanted to have like a bake shop right if you're going to make this relevant for your reading um you always wanted to have a bakery and you've never bothered with it for whatever your reasonings is and you're being pushed to kind of just take a chance on that you're being pushed to take the lead and just like rent out that space so you can uh start building that bakery right it's one of those like risk taking things where it's just like you know you have to remind yourself of the image that you have in your head you have to just the only thing that's really driving you is being like you really want this bakery and while it seems like an extremely daunting task while it seems super scary to do you know deep down that it's like meant for you right you have as well the six of swords the seven of discs and the knave of discs very interesting so when we have like the six of swords coming in here i kind of see the six of swords is like um there's definitely some other energy involved in this virgo i don't know how they're involved right maybe they're following in your footsteps right but that does seem there does it does it does rather my god seem to point in this direction of where excuse me where it seems like someone else can help you in this once you start taking the lead does that make sense so it's, it's almost like everyone how can we think of this as like an analogy it's like everyone wants to get this project done you're all you're set into a group you have a group of three people, we'll say, right? Because you have the back of the deck energy, three of wands. You have three people in your group. Everyone in the group obviously wants the same thing and that the project for the project to be done naturally, right, Virgo? 
um, but no one wants to take the lead on it. And so it's just everyone else is waiting for everyone else to take the lead on it, including you, Virgo. And it's just like, it's through enough waiting time. It's just like, okay, like at some point, like someone needs to take charge and be like, you do this, you do that. I'm going to do this, right? It's almost like you're, you need to be responsible for setting the tone for other people. And while I know I'm speaking in such a way as like for other people, this still inadvertently still helps you out in your life, right? Because you're just going forward rather than just still waiting for someone else to take up the lead in your life, right? This card flew out, the strength card, right? So this is definitely a challenge for you and the Knight of Wands also wanted to come out. So mm, yeah, this is definitely such a push for you. Like it's gonna take a lot of effort. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. Uh, Virgo, it's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to pull a lot out of you, um, teach you a lot, right? This is not going to be, this is not sun, this is not a sunshines and rainbow reading by any means. Like, this is not me trying to paint saying, like, you're not going to have this handed to you in a silver platter, which I'm sure you already didn't expect that, Virgo. But it's almost just like these challenges really help build the character for you, build character for you. Um, for the future and for you to just finally get the results that you want, which again would be that 10 of discs, right? And I just can't help but feel like someone else is, would be able to be a positive asset in your life and helping you. But again, you have to be the one that takes control, that takes charge in this, right? They're not going to set the tone for you, but once you set the tone and get the ball going, then you have like, it seems like you have a healthy support system that would follow through with you after the fact, but you just don't know it. You can't see it right now, Virgo, because everyone's just sitting there like waiting for someone else to take lead in that project, is that analogy, right? So we have seven of discs paired with the knave of discs. So this is really kind of like that taking that risk again. A lot of just like risk in the sense, it's risk only in the sense of where it's just like you're going to be made uncomfortable. That's the risky part. The risky part is you're no longer going to just sit in your comfort zone and like have someone else take charge, have someone else help create for you like you're just going to like instead of you just listening to following direction going with what the general crowd says you're the one that's going to be setting that trail for everybody else to follow through right that seven of discs talks about like the reason why you would be going out further to like to even be doing like taking this lead virgo is to really um for your own for your own um betterment for your own uh, abundance in a way, right? For your own harvest, right? So while I was saying before, again, I was speaking in such a way as like you taking lead so I, I, everyone else can follow suit. Um, it's not about them in the whole grand scheme of things, Virgo. It's all about you um, having a beautiful harvest, but you're not going to get that beautiful harvest unless you take the lead, or at least you're not going to get the harvest that you want unless you finally just take action and do it. Let go of that fear, let go of that inner saboteur that's telling you that you want to be able to handle the project or whatever, 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 whatever it is that you tell yourself, Virgo, right? Um, there is just like this push and just asking you to just really Queen of Wands, yeah. Queen of Wands is that solo energy. I know we're talking about group project, but it's like the Queen of Wands really is the epitome of leadership in the sense that like she she blazes a trail. She blazes her own trail and that inspires other people to follow suit, Virgo. Other people are inspired by you uh, essentially like stretching your wings out and flying and just going out on your own with this, right? Other people are really receptive, Virgo, towards how you are um how and like it does kind of, seem to be i can't help but feel like there's a lot of eyes on you um when it comes to this situation virgo we have the five of wands and then the eight of discs right so this is what you're afraid of this is the you're afraid of that conflict you're afraid of people probably turning on you and i feel like it, this does feel like there's some type of situation that you're being kind of forced to be put into almost where it's just like, it's not of your own doing. Like, you don't really want to do this, right? You don't want to be made uncomfortable necessarily. But, you know, you're kind of confronting this fear of thinking that everyone's just going to turn on you. You're confronting this fear of feeling like everyone's going to just look at you and be like, oh, like, look at this fool. What do, what do they think they're doing? Sort of thing, right? You might have even experienced a little bit of imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome, Virgo. If you don't know what that is, I would consider looking that up. 
But Two of Wands comes in as the final uh, closing thought for this row for you, Virgo. And this is just, yeah, I feel like it's through you taking charge with something, Virgo, through you releasing your fear of something, you build a lot more character. You almost tap into a part of yourself that was actually pretty talented, actually pretty developed, but you weren't aware that it was so, like, so developed. You weren't aware of, like, your capabilities because you just never bothered tapping into it before. Um, and so this, this seems to be like you're being put into a situation, Virgo, that kind of forces you to see that, right? So I don't see this as much as, like, a punishment. It can, you can see it as, like, an annoyance because it definitely can, like, when you're made uncomfortable, it can be annoying, right? But realize that this is for your betterment, as much of a cop-out as that sounds. So we talked about all this. What good things can we expect for Virgo, right? What good things can we expect for Virgo? One more card. All right. I got, we got a lot of cards. For her. All right. Let's look at these. We have the Ten of Wands, Virgo. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Empress card. Makes sense. Queen of Pentacles and Swords. All right. So it's through you addressing this baggage through this heavy weight i would say this ten of wands like the baggage that you're carrying would be that fear that that zebra is talking about once you finally take charge and being like you know what i don't need to deal with it i don't need all this extra stuff i can just let it go right it's almost like you deciding to no longer have that be part of your identity instead of like you let it go because you probably have been for a while during this journey throughout this entire path that you've been going down virgo You've been constantly in the state of being like, man, we would travel so much quicker if we just released some baggage, right? If we just did it. But there's that fear of being like, oh, what if we like, what if we go down the road and like this one resource that I had in here, like we actually just end up needing? What if we end up somehow needing a frying pan or, you know, the whatever the analogy is, right? Is that fear just like oh, keeping over stock just because, um, and that fear of really just going out on this journey because maybe you feel like you don't have the resources to handle it. But the Empress card comes in, what I was saying before. The Empress card comes in of being like being in tune with the universe, um, really growing and just developing into such a beautiful person, Virgo. This really is here to build some character in you, right? Even though that doesn't, that isn't me trying to downplay what is going on in your life or what is going to be adding up in your life virgo if you're not experiencing it now this is definitely coming really soon for you um because this is definitely like a process of like trying to awaken something in you for sure um queen of swords queen of pentacles i see this as virgo yeah this is you just coming into your power notice right i was using that group project like both of these uh, cards this is more of an individualistic energy again but I just see this being so profitable for you, Virgo. I see this maybe not in financial profit, profit, but you get a heck of a lot of experience. You get a heck of a lot of growth from this. And that in and of itself, I feel like it's pretty priceless, don't you think, Virgo? But uh, yeah, beautiful reading. I see so much coming to, towards you with this Queen of Pentacles as well. For this to be like your blessing, this Queen of Pentacles is completely self-sufficient. This Queen of Pentacles is thriving and filled with abundance. And that's why she can have this self inner peace here. But she only can have that through setting some strong boundaries, but also taking action, right? So keep that in mind, Virgo, as you go throughout your days. But that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonated with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, Virgo, I love you so much.